In the application notability, one can write math with the stylus and then convert into mathematical script. So if, for example, I want to answer this question five, I will use my stylus to write the answer. And I will then use the lasso option to circle around it, tap once, and choose the convert option, of course, into math. It appears that I made no mistake or that the transcription and the conversion into mathematical script is correct. I can, however, had I made a mistake or if a mistake inserted itself during the conversion step, so if my handwriting was not good enough, I can, with the three dots, access the modifying editing menu which gives me access to the LaTeX um, writing of my equation. So I could either change my equation here and say, for example, change 125 with 126, and here it's already corrected and press OK. Or, if I had made a mistake, I've just uh, used the back arrow key to come back to my original um, conversion. Or, if I see a mistake here, uh, I can also use my back arrow, come back to my uh, handwriting, use the um, eraser, change the 5 into a six, and then with the lasso again, select, tap once, convert into math, and here we are again. Okay, or three dots, modify or edit, and change with my keyboard or my fingers, the writing I need. Once I have converted my um, math handwriting, I can of course reduce it to the size I need to fit in in the space I want. With this menu, I cannot yet give um, this text box a background, which is annoying. But what I can do is create a text box. Here I will duplicate it. And I can comment, uh, put this text box below my writing. So my writing is nice and clear and um, we are not bothered by those lines. It is very often that when you fill in a test or a series of exercises in class, like here, you will have to use your stylus to write the answers to this question, exercise six, little one. And of course, you might uh, be able to zoom in, but you will probably, if you are dyspraxic, dysgraphic, never be able to write this beautiful little handwriting in such a small place. So what students tend to do with their pillars is write big somewhere above 
the area you can see that this would never fit um, in this little space here but of course with my lasso I can now select this and with my fingers I can squeeze it until it becomes small enough that I can then fit it in where I need it to be. If the handwriting is too thin, I can go into style and decide to augment um, the strike of the pen. So the lasso tool in math, in my opinion, is really useful. Whether you decide to convert this into math or not is entirely up to the student. On this page, clearly the student did not have time to convert his handwriting into math script. The handwriting of the student is rather bad legible but bad. If the student is dyspraxic dysgraphic and if they had to write math and sciences all day long, they would probably get very tired by the end of the day. Still, they need to handwrite rapidly. Here, if I use my lasso and I try to convert this into this time, not math, but text, there will be mistakes. It will not be converted properly. So I cancel it. If I try to convert it into math, it will still have many mistakes. So I come back to my handwriting. What I have done here is I have used a different app that I can use in parallel to Notability, either as an app, if I divide my screen, that will be on the right hand side and Notability on the left, or as a keyboard extension. In order to access the keyboard extension of the application X Formula, I need to first use the text option and create a text box or touch the screen somewhere in the text function. Normally, what would appear on your iPad if you disconnect your external keyboard, keyboard for math and sciences, we recommend it, um, what would happen is you would have your normal keyboard that would appear. X Formula is an application, as I said, that you can open on the side or which has a keyboard extension. So you can install their keyboard extension option. So if I type on my keyboard, I can choose, you can see at the bottom here, I can choose different keyboards, but I want the one that's called X Formula. And what you can appreciate is that I've taken a few, maybe a minute, you know, it's slower than the normal keyboard, but if you get used to it and you get trained on it, it can go really fast. I have created a text here on the right hand side that if I copy it in an image format and I copy it again and I come back on my Notability and choose Lasso and then I tap on the screen and paste, you can see that I can paste this writing. I've done it here as well. So I delete that one and I take the one I've just created now that's if I wanted to take the time to be able to write or handwrite less with my stylus and more with a keyboard. It is possible to do this with the keyboard extension of X Formula. As I said, X Formula, you can access via the keyboard extension here. So when your normal keyboard appears, you check you tap this and you go up to X formula. This appears 
Yeah, you can see that I can type some 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 text here. Um, one needs to get used to it, but no, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I'll add a word for you so you can see how it works. Yeah, and then what I do is I'm okay with that, so I come back to this. Then I want to copy, copy, and then here up there in the lasso option, I want to paste. You see, I've added the word the sign cannot be determined with a little mistake in determined. Okay, so this is how it works with X formula. Of course, I could choose to open X formula on the side and do exactly the same with half of um, tactile keyboard and have access to the words as well. And again, copy and paste, it's all happening. Here, yeah. where is it? Copy and copy and in the lasso option in Notability, sorry, paste. Okay, and you could paste some writings in there or some equation, of course. Let me delete that for you. Um, if I clear here uh, and um, I write something very simple on several line. Okay, just to show you, I copy. I've decided on this yellow background, I like it. I paste and then in the lasso, I copy and paste into Notability. So I can either use X formula as a dual screen in that way, or I can use it as a keyboard extension. I have to say, I do like the keyboard extension because then you don't have to have your screen split in two. But then saying that, if you do want to have the keyboard, it still does uh, split your uh, screen in two. I still like it a lot because you can toggle between different keyboards, write math and then write text using your normal keyboard.